Hey everyone, Greg here from Fish by Films and welcome back to an update on our uh, track clean do's and don'ts video. Now, I have a list here of things that uh, I didn't say in the video and I thought, well, it's a good idea to drag out some of my uh, lighting equipment that I bought recently to give it a go and getting all fanged up on three-point lighting and all that sort of thing, uh, getting a bit more theatrical. Anyway, um, the first thing is that as of uh, now 7.30, it's Easter Monday night here, uh, I've had 1,100 views on the do's and don'ts track cleaning video so that is a record for me by about 400 views so thank you very much uh, to all the subscribers and viewers that have watched it's fantastic um, so yes yeah, 1100 views as of uh, 730 so that's amazing normally it's about 600 or thereabouts on a good one and we're uh, Easter end of Easter Monday night so it'll be coming in Easter Monday I guess for the US so thank you very much now the thing about um, Inox is what it does is, and like CRC, what I didn't explain there, is it leaves a protective film on the track and that stops oxidation and uh, uh, oxygen rea and, and um, you know, nasties getting on top of the track and helping with conductivity. So that's what it does. So when you use your rag, you'll um, use a little bit on the top and it'll just leave a bit of a film. It's not, it's not too wet, you know, it's fine. So now that brings us to another thing. Uh, if you have locomotives with traction tyres, you're in trouble because the inox will get soaked up by the traction tyres, it won't destroy the traction tyres, it won't uh, harm the rubber, but they will act like a sponge and they will become absolutely useless. So uh, a friend of mine uh, many years ago brought over a couple of beautiful Bactrum, Bac Bacman Spectrum Mercados, absolutely lovely locomotives, ran like Swiss watches, it almost tempted me to get a steam engine. Anyway, after a couple of runs around the layout, these things wouldn't pull one coach up a hill. Uh, the traction tyres were just soaked up with inox even though the rails aren't really wet so it's a problem so that's another thing with traction tires uh, the other thing of course wet versus dry rails um, a wet rail or when I say wet with a slight film on it uh, will attract a little bit more dust uh, as obviously the dust will settle and be attractive and, and sticks to the uh, to the inox very minute bits but of course any of the, the dirt that, that, that does settle there versus dry track is more than compensated for with the uh, extra benefits that that brings the Deonox or other spray brings to the track. So that's just another thing. So I've written some things down here so I remember everything. Uh, also, now, uh, there are other similar sprays, uh, CRC 626. Uh, some people in England, the UK have told me there's some uh, electronic sprays made for connections. Some radio guys, ham guys say there's some uh, electrical sprays for putting on your uh, radio connections, your coax connections. You can use that as well. Uh, as far as contact cleaners go, yes, you could use contact cleaners, but a contact cleaner won't give you any protection after. They will clean the rails, but a contact cleaner doesn't have any residue. If you read contact cleaners, they are um, uh, base solvent based that they will remove everything from what you're cleaning and not leave any protective film. So you could use contact cleaner to clean but you're still left with the same problem of having a, a dry, sterile rail. So that's another thing. Um, where are we? We're, we're getting into this. Uh, now, also, that, that also covers with uh, methylated spirits. Same thing. Uh, methylated spirits doesn't have water in it, but it does, it does have uh, methanol, and, uh, and, uh, uh, methanol and ethanol. Um, but same thing. You'll get a sterile environment after. So... Uh, you know, yes, clean track, but you won't have the benefits of using uh, a spray like like uh, inox or CRC or something like that. A sterile environment, yeah, not a conductive environment. Remember what the ranch said. Now, what I have heard about many years ago, and I've actually ordered one to try it, and I will let you know how it goes, is a graphite block. It's about this big, made of solid graphite, like you find in your pencils. And now graphite, of course, is uh, it's found in motor brushes, it's conductive, and I've, I've had a couple of older guys say that they buy a graphite block and they just rub it around the track every now and then, and the trains carry the carbon around, and you would think this is the wrong thing to do, but apparently it works like a charm. So if you have traction tyres, and of course a wet spray is not going to be any good, I'm going to give the carbon block a go, sorry, the graphite block a go on the top level of the layout, and just compare it to the inox and see. It may be a really good alternative for those of you who have traction tyres or don't want to use a spray. We'll see. Right. Five minutes already. Gee, I do waffle on, eh? Uh, <laughs> B 
but last but not least, thanks so much for uh, looking and commenting on the video. I'm slowly getting through all the comments. There's been lots, as you can imagine. So, slowly getting through them. And if you're going out to buy Inox or uh, CRC or whatever you want to use, what the hell was that? No, a gecko. Yeah. Uh, and try, let me know how you go. Do an experiment. Pick a, a section of track that you have problems with and uh, you know, do the thing. Put it on as a rag. Put some inox or spray through it. Run a train through it and let me know how it improves it. I want to know. Leave it in the comments below and I will do it like a, a, a fish play films experiment and, and see how good uh, the improvements you get like I've got. So there you go. And of course people have been running out today in Australia and buying inox uh, and uh, with these uh, laws, whatever it's going on. Uh, so thanks guys for going out and uh, doing your social distancing. You know, it's no difference to me. Women won't let me within two meters of them anyway, so it's just another day for me. <laughs> no different. Welcome to Greg's world, everybody. There you go. So that's it. Um, six minutes, that'll do. No, I've got a timer going, so I don't ramble on. So I think, let me just go through all this thing that I've got everything here. Similar space, track and dive, wet and dry, da da da. Graph of don't use metho, the same thing, da da da. That's it. Righto. Thank you very much uh, for this is uh, listening to this update. As I say, thanks again for breaking the record. Go out and get your spray. Give it a go. Let me know how your imp uh, you know improvements in performance. And um, we'll take it from there. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon from the Birdwood Sun. Do it for now. Bye-bye.